Hey everybody, it's Joey. I am here right now and we are live. We thank you guys for joining us today. And I'm standing here in one of the biggest single rooms I think I've ever been in in my entire life. We're in Orlando, we're at the Orange County Convention Center, and it's the IAPA Attractions Expo. Now the IAPA Attractions Expo, if you don't know anything about this, this is it basically as far as amusement park or theme park or say if you own an arcade or a zoo or a museum, this is the place to be. This is the trade show, this is the expo. So 32,000 people from around the globe converging here in this one giant convention center for this week to find out what's new, what's exciting in the world of attractions. And we are here, right here behind me, we have this huge space, and I say we, it's Silver Dollar City and we're partnering with Mock Rides. And let me give you a little bit of a background. Now, Mock Rides, they are making our brand new coaster that's opening up next year in 2018 called Time Traveler. That's right. Could probably guess by my costume right now. And I don't know if we can see back over here. Can you see this? Let's, let's tilt. You see our banner right here that shows Time Traveler. And then right here behind that curtain, which I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a second, that's why we're here today. That's the big news right now. So it's very exciting. There's people everywhere right now. There's crazy stuff. There's foods. There's rides everywhere. But we have a huge presence. I don't know if you can really tell this, but behind me, there's a huge presence right here. And in just a few moments, we're going to hold a press conference. And it's going to be a history-making press conference because we're going to tell you what's behind that curtain over there. So it's so cool. We've got people from Silver Dollar City walking around. I see people from the ride manufacturer walking around. It's just, there's just so much excitement right now. So it's so cool right now. I'm glad that you guys could join us. And what right now, in just a few minutes, you're going to find out what's behind that curtain. But actually, let's see. Can we go? Do you guys mind? You don't mind, do you? No, you don't mind. Here, let's go over there. I'll give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek what's behind the curtain. So let's go over there now. Hey, what took you guys so long to get over here? All right. So right now, you can see behind me this curtain right now. And I'll go in ahead and tell you why we're here. We're here right now in Orlando, Florida to reveal what's behind the curtain. I'm, I'm still teasing you guys. Why am I still doing this? I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. Right here behind this curtain is the first ride vehicle for Time Traveler. And we are calling this the actual Time Traveler itself, this ride vehicle. And somebody behind here, behind me laughing over here. So right now, in just a few minutes, we're going to hold a press conference and we're going to show for the first time this actual ride vehicle. So you can see there's excitement building right now. There's people walking around. We're pretty excited about this. And if you don't know anything about Time Traveler, let me tell you, opening up next year, next spring, it is our $26 million coaster, brand new, and it is the first of its kind in the entire world. It's the fastest spinning coaster in the world. It's the tallest spinning coaster in the world. And it's the steepest spinning coaster in the world. Why is it the fastest? What well, goes over 50 miles per hour. Why is it the steepest? Because there is a 10-story, 90-degree drop right out of the station. And why is it the tallest? We're just going to have to ride it to find out. I mean, it's as simple as that. You guys get it. It's fast, it's steep, it's tall, and you are turning in circles 360 degrees the entire time you ride this thing. There's nothing else like it in the world. And that's why there's so much excitement right around us right now because of all the people that are here at this IAPA Attractions Expo. Everybody wants to find out more about Time Traveler. I mean, it is truly the buzz of the convention right now. So I see people milling about, and in just a few minutes, we're going to get a little peek behind the curtain. Let me see if I can get a peek behind here. Oh, yep. Okay, yeah. It's still there. Yeah, the car's there. So we're good. No worries. <laughs> Guys, I'm so glad that you are here to join us right now. And, oh, it actually looks like, it looks like we're getting ready to start. All right. So let's head back over there. Thank you guys for joining us today. Stay in your seats. You don't want to miss this. You're going to see the Time Traveler ride vehicle for the first time right now. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Brad Thomas with Silver Dollar City, and it is an honor to be here today with our good friend Christian von Elverfeld from uh, Mock Rides. We have worked together for a very long time, and we are excited about a new ride opening at Silver Dollar City in the spring of 2018. Fasten your seatbelts because it is the fastest 
the steepest and the tallest spinning coaster ever built on the planet Earth. We are so excited about this. It will launch twice. It inverts three times. And Christian, today we actually are going to debut the actual vehicle of time traveler that will take folks forward and backward in time at Silver Dollar City. You remember 2006, I first time visited your park and we had a wonderful time there. And at that time, I swear to myself, I want to build a, a unique ride for Silver Dollar City because it's a, one of the most beautiful parks in the world, I think. Bless you. <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm very excited and I don't know if I should go on speaking because we are all very excited to these, these beautiful uh, time traveler vehicle. Well, Christian, this I want to explain to everyone just so everyone, all of our close friends here, really understand what Time Traveler will do for Silver Dollar City. It's a $26 million investment, which is our largest single investment in Silver Dollar City's The 57 smallest pass was for us, <laughs> I have to tell you. 57 <laughs> years history. This ride is not an uncontrolled spin. So as you think through the fastest, the steepest, the tallest spinning coaster ever built, please know it does not spin like a teacup as it does all of those things. It is a controlled spin as it goes through those launches, as it goes through those inversions, and that will make it an incredibly unique, thrilling, and fun experience for families visiting Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri. Christian, your folks, when we first rode a prototype on Blue Fire at Europa, your folks understood that we needed to control that spin. So how did you come up with a way to control the spin? First of all, of course, because we are also a family park. So we, we also look on family especially. But we thought it's a wonderful idea to, to do on the Blue Fire a spinning ride. So when you came and we showed you the, the ride, I remember it two years ago at IAPA here, we presented the, the project or the, the ride actually, and you came to a few weeks later and we tested it. And then we thought, yes, maybe too much spinning would be not good. So we have a <laughs> patent. <laughs> we have a patent on a control spinning. So these are adjustable uh, magnetic brakes on the ride. So we can, we can also uh, how you call that, make it faster. But for you, we make it not faster. So we make it slower for the, for the whole family because it should be a fa still a family ride. But it will be also a thrill ride for younger people as well. So I think everybody from 13 to 90 will love this ride. I'm sure. Thank you so much. We, we love working with the Mock family. We love their engineering and their skills and their talents. And we cannot wait for you to come visit us at Silver Dollar City in Branson. But with all of the chatter, we're going to move over here and we're going to unveil something that um, I think we're very proud of wow, together. Absolutely. Yep, thank you. Okay, Christian, we're going to ask all of our friends here to help us and count down. We're going to go from 10, just like the top of a Ferris wheel in Branson, Missouri, all the way down to zero. So everybody, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our honor to introduce Time Traveler. Hey folks, it's Joey again, and we just unveiled it. Now you've seen it, it's official. You've seen the Time Traveler vehicle. And one of the things that really impresses me about this is just the level of detail on this car here. It's just amazing when you look at just the tiny little etchings inside here. And for me, the coolest thing, without a doubt, is the rotating dial right here. Because what one of the things that you heard earlier, Brad saying, are you going forward in time? Are you going in backwards in time? That's the cool thing about this ride, is that you have no idea what you're going to experience every single time you get on it. And the detail of the car is just beautiful. 
I mean, the seats are beautiful. Just the look of the metal. I've, I've honestly never seen anything like this. You know, we were talking to some of the coaster enthusiasts out here, and they said, you know, we've seen coasters before that may spin or have some similar features, but one of the things they've never seen is a car this size. That's what's unique about this. You'll never see a coaster vehicle, a coaster car that's this detailed, that's this themed, and again, that's this massive. So we're very excited about this, and hopefully we can get some more interviews. Let's talk to some other people to see their thoughts on the Time Traveler vehicle. I want to say I'm here with the star of the show, although the real star of the show is right here behind us. But this is the man you just saw giving us the announcement, Brad Thomas, president of Silver Dollar City Attractions. Brad, what what just happened? You know, we are going to do some time traveling at Silver Dollar City, and this will transport our guests through the world's fastest, steepest, tallest, double launch, triple inversion <laughs> roller coaster so I think Time Traveler is going to be an amazing experience for our guests. And what I think is so critically important about Time Traveler is this vehicle is not, it's not an uncontrolled spin. So it is a very sane, a very fun experience that families of all ages are going to enjoy at Silver Dollar City. It is the biggest investment that we've ever made at Silver Dollar City, $26 million. Now, one of the cool things, Brad, about this car itself, this time traveler, is, you know, if you've seen the video and you've seen our renderings of what it's going to look like, nothing really prepares you for when you see it in person. Just the level of detail on here is very impressive. Have, have you yourself seen a car like this, this themed, this detailed anywhere? I have not um, seen a roller coaster car that is this themed. And you know, pay a special attention to the time dial on the front of the, the vehicle that just shows years and months and days just rolling around, and that will continue as, as our guests are transported through the experience. The fun thing about that time dial, like you said, is are you going forwards in time? Are you going backwards in time? You really don't know what you're going to experience every single time you ride this. It's gonna be a different experience. It will be a different experience depending on the weight of the car because this spin is not motorized. It's gravitationally controlled. So as the riders leave that station, go into that 90 degree 100 foot vertical drop they will be transported and that spin begins and then the spin continues throughout the rest of the experience now Facebook fans this is also Brad Thomas's birthday today so between your birthday the unveiling of this this has got to be a top five birthday of all time I would imagine right? well, and I just have to slide this one little thing in the fact that we have Christmas in Midtown going on at Silver Dollar City now. Six and a half million lights on the streets of Silver Dollar City. And I will tell you, I've loved Silver Dollar City Christmas every year that we've done it. But this year is extra special with those lights in Midtown. So if you haven't had a chance, check out Silver Dollar City's uh, social pages, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And look at all those great photos of Christmas in Midtown. So Christmas in Midtown, the unveiling of this vehicle. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to Brad. He says it better than anybody else could. Season passes to Silver Dollar City in 2018 are on sale right now. If you're watching online, you have got no excuse to go to SilverDollarCity.com. Buy your season passes right now. Come to Christmas in Midtown, and we'll see you next year as you ride Time Traveler in 2018.